In this video, we're gonna be talking about what really happened to Allison Hargreaves, but more importantly, we're gonna be talking about parenting, childhood mental health, over medication, and all sorts of stuff. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health. And what I like to do sometimes is pull different topics from pop culture, like TV, movie shows, and things like that, to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And by the way, can we all give a round of applause to Zach? Because Zach is editing my videos while I'm out of town. Yo, what's up everybody? This is Zach, the editor. Chris is still on his break, but he asked me to edit this video before he went out of town and all that good stuff. I didn't get around to it, but I just reached out to him, asked him if it was okay to still post it. He said, go ahead, also plug my channel while I'm at it. So if you're into TV show reviews, which you probably are if you're watching this episode about the Umbrella Academy, you might wanna go check out my channel called Your Everyday Nerd. I do a lot of nerd culture reviews every single day. I'm actually gonna be doing an Umbrella Academy review very, very soon. So if you guys wanna check that out, that'll be in the description box below. But anyways, back to Chris. Love you, Zach. All right, but uh, I'm at Playlist Live, so follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at The Rewired Soul, get updates. I'm gonna be hanging out with a bunch of cool people like Matt, my co-host from the podcast, my buddy Aaron, I'm gonna be seeing Illy Mation, Carly Steele, bunch of other people who I love hanging out with. So follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. But yeah, we're gonna be talking about the Umbrella Academy. We're gonna specifically be talking about Allison Hargreaves in this character breakdown. So there will be some spoilers. So if you have not seen the Umbrella Academy on Netflix yet, and you plan on watching it, turn this video off, come back later after you finish it. All right, cool. All right, so anyways, Allison Hargreaves, she is one of the children well, she grows up into an adult, and her superpower is that she tells people a rumor, right? But when she tells people a rumor, like, it controls their mind, right? So she can stop bank robbers and all sorts of things. Well, anyways, as the kids grow older, they end up leaving the house and all sorts of things. And I think one of the important things to realize about Allison as a parent, and just like, in real life context, like, when we are messed up kids or have messed up parenting, we do messed up things as adults, right? Because our parents may justify, you know, what they were doing or whatever, and then that gets implanted in our heads. So when we get older and we become parents of our own, like, we we start thinking that, okay, well, this is, this is fine. Like, you know, in Allison's situation, she could be like, oh, well, at least it's not what my dad did. Now, what Allison opens up about and why she doesn't use her powers anymore is because she started using it on her own child, okay? She started using her powers that she was using in the Umbrella Academy on her kid to get her kid to behave, you know, do what she wanted her to do and all these other things. And Allison opens up about this to Luther and discusses how like, you know, she justified it and thought like, okay, well, I just have an edge on other parents. I'm able to do this because like she justified her actions. But that's one of the reasons, I don't think they blatantly said it in the show, but that's one of the reasons she lost custody of her daughter was because she was using her powers on her daughter, okay? To get her daughter to calm down or they show a scene where her daughter wanted to stay up and like list, uh, have her mom read more stories and she used her power to get her daughter to go to sleep, all right? Now, for me, the topic I specifically wanna to touch on in this video is like parenting as well as the over-medication of our, our children. That's kind of the correlation that, uh, or the relationship I saw with this and the real world. And it's, it's a huge topic. Like, as somebody who is a recovering prescription drug addict, as somebody who is a huge advocate for like mental health, like, I think this is a very important to talk about, uh, thing to talk about because with, with many addictions, you see kids are being primed for addiction from things that are happening when they're young. Like, I don't know if you've seen like the essential oil things that are being marketed to children, but that is a primer for addiction when someone's older. I might do videos about that. If you've heard about the essential oils for kids and stuff, it's terrible. And if you want me to make videos about that, let me know down in the comments below. But anyways, so here's the thing. I wanna make it very clear. I wanna make it very clear. Here's Chris's disclaimer for this video, okay? I am not saying that no child on earth should be medicated. I am not saying that at all. Like anytime I talk about this or I've talked about this in previous videos, you get parents like, you don't understand. My, my child needs ADHD medication. Okay, that's cool. Calm down. The conversation that I'm trying to open up is that 
we often jump to medications first rather than trying other options, okay? Like we use it as a first resort rather than a last resort, okay? And that is a major, major issue. So let's talk about the worst of the worst first to kind of lighten, lighten this up a little bit so you don't think I'm just purely anti-medications. There are many parents out there where they justify, you know, their kid not being able to sleep or whatever and, you know, oh, oh well, I need sleep because, you know, I got work in the morning or whatever. And just like even feeding your kid like NyQuil or sleep medicine, right? Like to get them to go to sleep. Like that is messed up. Like that's messed up to do that. You see what I mean? So like in Allison Hargreaves case, like, you know, she was using her superpower, but this is something that parents actually do, which is medicate their child just to get them to go to sleep, right? And think about all the justifications and things like that. But I, I have a whole course on the science of addiction. It's 100% free over on my website. I'll link it down in the description below. But like, go check it out. Like it explains how addiction actually develops and making your child dependent to a substance to go to sleep is, is a way to start that, right? Like I can tell you as a recovering drug addict, one of my biggest justifications for getting high or drunk was just so I can sleep. So if you imagine doing that with a child when they're in their learning uh, phases, like this is a major issue because they start to believe that this is something that's going to solve all of their sleep issues for the rest of their life. You know, there are children who get hooked on melatonin because it's not about the physical dependence it's about the psychological dependence so even if a child is taking melatonin every single night to sleep let's say you run out of melatonin right they're going to flip their wig because they are dependent on that action in order to go to sleep right even if it's just a placebo effect okay but let's also talk about the over prescribing of ADHD medications, which are amphetamines, okay? They're not methamphetamines, but they are amphetamines. So like I said, second time I'll say this disclaimer, I'm not saying that no child needs these medications because some do. But part of being a child, you know, or even child's, uh, children are, you know, showing these symptoms because of other issues like lack of attention at home, so they're acting out of school and all these other things, a lot of parents and doctors quickly jump to ADHD medications, right? They get kids on these amphetamines, which can be highly abused, highly addictive, right? They just throw them at these kids to get them to behave. So when you see Allison Hargreaves using her Umbrella Academy abilities on her own daughter, like this is something that's actually happening, you guys. Like this is something that the world is dealing with where parents are trying to medicate their children in order to behave. And they're justifying it by like, oh, well, why would they make this medication if it wasn't to make my child behave? No, those medications are for a mental illness, all right? In, in the, the realm of ADHD, I love how to ADHD. Haley's comment, um, she's a smaller channel who did a guest video for me last time I was out of town. Check out her video because she chooses not to be on medications. Now, some people do need to be on medications, but other people are worried about, you know, becoming addicted to these things. Like me, for example, if I ever got diagnosed with ADHD, I'd have to research all other options because me taking amphetamines will light my addiction right back up because of the way that it affects the brain. You know what I'm saying? I think our responsibility as parents or school teachers or anybody who's even watching after kids, it is our responsibility to understand these medications and really check in with ourselves and say, do I believe do I believe that my child really needs these medications or, or am I doing it as a way to control my child, to make my child easier to deal with? Because I hate to break it to you everybody, but when we become parents, we are signing up for the responsibility of teaching our kids how to cope, how to deal, how to calm down. All right, because this is why I, I highly recommend like just reading books, read books on childhood brain development, read books on childhood psychology, understand what's normal. Like there are many times as a father where I have to look at my son and even if I get irritated or frustrated or whatever, I have to remember he is a child and what his brain is going through. You know what I mean? Like that is part of our responsibility as parents. Like if you look at the prescription drug epidemic in the United States alone, like it is massive, it's massive. So why are we going to put that, you know, into the next generation by just throwing medications at them left and right? Like if you look at just about any other country 
on the planet, we prescribe more potentially addictive medications than anybody else on earth. Now, why do you think that is? Do you think it's because we're just so advanced? Do you think it's because, you know, people in the United States just happen to need medications more? No, that's not the case. Like that would be completely insane to think that that's the case, all right? So we need to look at other uh, treatment options for these things, whether it's for behavior or whatever it is. We need to research those options before we just start making it rain medications all over our children, all right? But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this subject down below, like, you know, um, whether it comes to parenting or the overprescribing of medications or whatever it is. If medications work for you, maybe you wanna balance out this conversation and discuss below. Let me know if you've tried other methods and, you know, to manage like adult ADHD or things like that. And maybe, you know, it's helped. I don't know, but let's have a conversation down below. But again, uh, make sure you're following me on Instagram and Twitter at The Rewired Soul. I'm at Playlist Live until Sunday. So be sure, please be sure too, that you're checking out all the guest videos as well. I love supporting smaller channels to try to give them more of a platform because YouTube does an awful job of promoting mental health channels, all right? But that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron and get some exclusive perks, like get access to our monthly Q&A or free books and all that stuff, click or tap right there. Thanks again so much for watching. I'll see you next time.